Hello. Today I am going to show you how to create an Amazon AWS instance. First go to Amazon AWS. Open Amazon AWS site. If you don't have an account, create an account. As I have already an account, I am going, going to the login page. Since it's already logged in, I just got redirected to my services. I'm going to select EC2. Uh, let's launch an instance. I'll guide you through the basic steps. You have multiple options to choose from. Whichever you are comfortable in. I'm going with Amazon AWI. Uh, the instance type depends on your network performance as well. If you want a high network performance, you can go with M4 large. If you want a moderate one, you can go with T2 large. Since I'm going to show you a basic instance, I don't need any high network performance. So I'm going with T2 micro. Next, I'm going to configure the instance details. I'm going to leave the configuration as it is since I'm going to show, the, show you the basic one. Uh, I don't need to configure much. In the add storage column, see here 8 indicates 8 gigabytes. You can increase the size in this as well. Or else you can create a new volume and add a different size to it. Uh, I don't need an extra and I don't need 20 gigs. So I'm going with 8. Next, I'm tags. Uh, you may be wondering why, what are tags? Tags are nothing but if you have multiple, many instances. Uh, the tags allows you to access those instances easily. Let me create a sample tag. This is the security group. This is the protocol which through which you will be able to access. I'm going to add another one. Since I'm going to access it through web server. HTTP. Remember the port range. Remember the port range. Next, I'm done with all the configuration steps. I'm going to launch the instance. See, before launching Amazon AWS pops up a review tab where you can check whether all the details you have entered is right. I mean, whatever desired details are entered or not. See, you can even find the storage, tags, and the security groups as well. Now I'm all set. I'm going to launch. To launch an instance, you need to have a key pair. So since I don't have any key pair, I'm going to create a key pair. You can give whichever name you are comfortable with. Depends on your instance or instance name also. See, the key got downloaded in .pm format. Since I'm using Windows, Windows doesn't permit me to access .pm so I need to convert .pm to .ppk I can do that using putigen I chose no key so I have to load a new key select all files you will get 281 demo ppm see the key got successfully imported 
Now I need to save the private key. It asks whether you want to save this key without any passphrase. Passphrase is nothing but a passcode. As far as I am concerned, I don't need any passphrase. If you need one, you can create one. See now I have saved the private key. I don't need to access Putigen anymore. So I'm closing it. Now we can launch the instance. See it shows your instances are now launching. We can check our uh, instances whether they are running or not in view instances. It shows pending. It's still in initializing stage. So let's wait for some time. See, now my instance is up and running. This is the public IP. Uh, note down the public IP when you create an instance. Uh, because you can access the same from your, if you are using Windows, you can access the same server through Putty. If you are using Mac or Linux, you can directly access, access the server from your terminal. Uh, let me just guide through how you can access through Putty. So I'm going to launch Putty. Here it asks for host name. Since you, you are using Amazon AWS services, the default user ID will be EC2 iPhone user at the rate the IP of the public IP. So in SSH, you need to upload authentication part you need to upload the private key file for authentication so here it is going to open since this is the first time i am launching the server it, uh, it prompts a warning that it is not in cached registry so i'm going through see it shows I need to update some packages. It also gave me some command to update. So I'm going to update my services. Task for a confirmation. I'm going with yes. shows complete now i need to install httpd socket so that i can start my server yeah. it prompts an error that you need to be root to perform this command so i'm going to Gain super user access. Task for again, again a confirmation. Going with yes, it's complete. Now I need to start my server. You can use the following command to start your server.
see it shows my up server is started just to cross verify it i'm going to use my ip and check in my browser whether it's working or not let's just do it again it worked see now our ip is up and working now let's just try and stop the server and let's just see what happens see now the service has been stopped let's just check the uh, ip address see it shows us the site can't be reached because we have stopped the service uh, the server is unable to contact it, uh, the web server so let's start the service again and check again see now you may be wondering why amazon linux awi text page and something else uh, this is prompting us because uh, i didn't create any http pages uh, pages so it prompts you with the default one now let's create a basic html page and see how it works uh, we cannot uh, create an html page in the current directory we need to change the directory and go to cd var html in html you can use this to create an html file h1 indicates header i'm going to create some just a text see now we have created a basic html page i'm going to save this file by using control c sorry my bad i need to use control x to exit i'm going with y i have created an html file now uh, now let me just start the service let me just check whether my ip is working or not since my server uh, service is already started let me just check see <coughs> my html page is now uh, the header file in the html file is displayed since my html page is up and running uh, uh i let, let us just go to the dashboard and see how cloudwatch works see now we are back to where we have started see my instance is running this is what i have shown you now let me just show you how a cloudwatch works dashboards since i don't have any dashboard i'll create a dashboard dashboard name will be something relevant to your instance creating the dashboard <coughs> see it shows me it pops me up with four options basically cloud watch is nothing but it helps you in monitoring your instances your cpu usage when you are running the server whether your server is busy to check whether your server is up and running or not let me just go with the line for now 
configuring see since it shows me with uh, 46 inbuilt metrics 18 are from EBS and the rest are from EC2 since I created an, an EC2 instance I'm going to pick EC2 instances pre instance metrics see here it shows me all the things let me just make it bigger go with CPU utilization see uh, now I have selected two metrics one is CPU utilization it shows me how much my CPU is performing at what rate I'm going to create the widget see this is the line graph the blue one indicates my CPU utilization and the yellow one indicates my network packets can go with this as well number see right now my CPU utilization for this is instance is 0.03 percent and I have sent 11.8 K network packets out so basically this is how a cloud watch works thank you for watching